part two. So the Suicide Squad make their way towards the Enchantress. They enter an office building to discover the Enchantress's minions. Putties. I know they're not technically putties, but they look like them, sound like God them. People don't realize it. how surprisingly easy they are to kill. <laughs> She cannot see the action sometimes. Oh, I'll have to admit. Why would you want to shoot a fight scene in the dark? Don't people want to see the action? Again, critic, <laughs> the less we give people, the more they can fill in what's good about it. You wouldn't understand, Isn't that your critic? job? It's for, for the, the fans. fans. <laughs> well, Christ, there's gotta be a way around this. <laughs> Wait a minute. And then there's Harley Quinn. <laughs> and then there's Katana! But then again, that would not work in the actual show. The Professor and Marianne! <laughs> hey, thanks! <laughs> this is just like in one of those old classic TV shows. As you can see, Harley goes in the elevator. God. Wow. It took like nothing. <laughs> yeah, I know. Is that really all it took to get you back into violence? I don't know. He is a pacifism destroyed by tapping on your head. Just don't like people touching my head, okay? It's annoying. <laughs> well, we appreciate your sacrifice. Yeah, it's like one of those guys going vegan for a diet. I know, right? <laughs> About time you got here. Oh, right. They first had to save Amanda from being destroyed by the Enchantress's wrath. And you wouldn't have made it here without them. Admit it, Rick. I was right. Oh, she fucked up. Say that again. I was right about the Suicide Squad. You were right? Oh, yes. You were... <laughs> You were right. Well, I know what this is going you to. You were I know what it is going to. She bitch out there, the one that's destroying the city. I'm sure you're aware of her. Uh, she was part of a certain team, a super team. Am I correct? Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, th there was a name, a name for this certain team, if I recall, that, that you gave it, correct? Yeah. And what was the name of that team again? The one that you gave. I can't. Suicide Squad. Was it again? Suicide Squad. Still. Suicide Squad. Wait a minute! That can't be it! Because she's part of the team you were right about! So, correct me if I'm wrong, but if this dream team was never put together, the one you were right about, none of this bullshit would be happening! I'd be in bed right now! It's almost like... This is 
That's so this true. It's entirely your goddamn fault. The scene that have never made the whole team that we would not have never gotten a movie. Hey, if you have a suicide squad, and she's part of the suicide squad, <laughs> and she has a death beam. See, here it is. Here's the death beam. Here she is, all the way over here. Her death beam reaches towards the room and nukes your suicide squad. I drink your milkshake. I drink it up. That's why I'm stupid. This whole idea was stupid. Even like a Batman said it was stupid, and that's a kid. Oh my god. And if you thought I was just gonna sit here and let you say you were right, like in the movie, you're freaking wrong, because I'm giving you the freak out you deserve, you freaking idiot. Oh my god, I love it when he freaks out. Yeah, I'm finished. I fear if we got one, it still has to be the Come back on. credit card one. Like the new Wonder Woman movie Wait, is there gonna be a back credit card joke here? So I the hope Joker there is. To save Harley Quinn, which many diehard fans have a problem. Dang! <laughs> <laughs> Most incarnations of the two have the Joker treating Harley like garbage. A means to an end he wouldn't bat an eye to say. Okay, but back time. Play. Harley Quinn, in terms of Batman lore, has not been around very long, so her story is more open to changes in the future. This is an interpretation that's different, but honestly kind of interesting. We've had plenty of times where the Joker's been self-centered, but this is actually kind of fascinating to see him vulnerable and care about something. It's an aspect of the character not often explored. I actually do so like that aspect regardless of, the character. of which one you like better, I actually don't think it's a bad version to have out there. I really Especially enjoy because it's pretty I really enjoy the relationship here. Yeah, actually. Oh. My bad. <laughs> Harley, it's unlikely I'll be in the rest of this picture. Really? Yeah, in the grand scheme of things, I was pretty pointless. But remember me as the he greatest not, Joker He's not pointless. Oh, one of the greatest Jokers who ever... <laughs> uh, the one who was played by a douchebag actor... That is the one that we'll remember him by. Yeah, but he's gonna be remembered in a bad way. Uh, more terrible way. Guys, Mr. J is dead. Sure he is. <laughs> no, guys, it's they really don't give sad. a crap. No, really, they killed off their most popular villain. DC didn't want Joker anymore. You gotta believe me. No, they really killed him off. We put him in all that bullshit for not even 12 minutes of film. I'm serious, you guys. <laughs> I'm a dinosaur. <laughs> oh my god. Not just I love it when he said that. But I'm a like dinosaur. The squad wants answers from Rick, here is true. Look, Rick Flag, or whatever your real name is. Hmm. Actually, that is supposed to be my real name. Seriously? Yeah, okay. it kind of sucks. We need some answers. Okay, the most powerful entity in the world has escaped and now wants to take over the world. <laughs> yeah, we know. We saw that scene. Yeah, you just showed it from a slightly <laughs> different angle. Yeah, kind of weird repeating that. No, no, the chart says this is where you're supposed to feel hopeless and what? give up. What? What? That doesn't seem in character with any of us. Yeah. Every day could be our last, you know? No, 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 no. This is the part where you have to feel defeated and push out. Wait, the bad guys are supposed to push out? Jiggy, don't say Jiggy. What? I literally invented Come Jiggy. Come on. Wiki, wiki, wild, wild west. <sighs> okay, let's go and feel hopeless, I guess. Sure, I'm feeling hopeless in here. Yeah, it's not like we risk life and death every day. Yeah, I'm crazy, so <laughs> I don't know why I'm here. Well, we haven't gotten a line from Croc in a while. I'm a dinosaur. <laughs> so there's that. Also, Diablo's backstory. You don't know that. I killed my entire family. Yeah, who gives a shit? Sounds about right. This doesn't shock any of you? We're bad guys. How many times do we have to say in this damn movie? And in the Which promotion. Like, She's not taking over the world. We're taking over the world. Yeah, screw this scene, man. Let's give the audience what they got they <laughs> paid for. Wait, you're supposed to give a motivational speech. Super villains, by definition, are the most motivated people in the world. <laughs> I'm not giving to any more of your goddamn cliches. We are going to defeat her ultimate weapon of a portal in the sky, son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the asshole who 
Oh my god. Who is that one asshole? He actually brought it up. It's you. It's you, isn't it? White shark guy. You're it's the one that keeps putting it in all these films. Why? Is it some sort of sick erotic thrill for you? Do you have some sort of specific fetish for it? No critic. I think he it's does have a fetish for it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some paperwork to do. Oh, Avengers. Oh, Fantastic Four. Oh, my God. Oh, Ghostbusters. You know my needs. Oh my God! Come no, on, no, no, oh no, God. no, like no! Come right on! Oh, Christ. oh, oh my Come God! On, let's go from one dark, shadowy location to another dark, shadowy location. What did I just saw for a second? So the squad get to the Enchantress and try to stop her. Okay. <laughs> Time for you measly mortals to die. Soon the whole world will bow to my mercy. It is the end of days and what? What are you doing? What? This is just the way that I move. Why? It just is. What are you gonna do, the Macarena? I will destroy you all. Hey, hey, you know those little dancing hula dolls you put on your dashboard? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. She actually does look like that. Oh my god. <laughs> what is she doing now? Because as it turns out, I can do this the whole time. What the hell is that thing? And what the hell did we know he could turn into that? Let me guess. For the fans. The Enchantress shows them the life they always wanted, and she can give them if they only ew. join her side. Please, Daddy, die for your daughter! <laughs> no! <laughs> Are you sure nobody's called us? Do you see the bad signal? <laughs> Only when the back of me comes up. <laughs> the Enchantress is destroyed, releasing the Doctor inside, and the squad go back to prison, this time treated with a little more respect. But there's one more twist. The Joker pops out. Pardon? Let's go home. <laughs> character we knew was alive turns up and that's your big clencher ending? But it's the Joker, and anything he's in is immediately amazing. No, like anything, the Joker done right is amazing. Here, like everything else in this movie, it's just done... passable. Huh. Despite it being a big hit, this movie divided a lot of audiences. Some loved it, some hated it, others thought it was okay. I'm one of the ones that loved it. None of it makes sense, and the pacing and tone feels mm. incredibly inconsistent. <laughs> and I can't imagine why that is. What can we say except you're welcome? Oh my god. You have to be pretty forgiving Moana. to do it. But when the style and all-around coolness works, I am kind of forgiving of it. It's got a lot of dumb, boring moments, but the badass <laughs> moments are enough for me to say, I'm glad I saw it. I know comic book audiences are already pretty complicated, but hearing all this, you can hopefully figure out if this is the right kind of dumb for you or the wrong kind of dumb for you. To me, this is kind of like the right kind of dumb for me. Ending. Just with the Joker coming in and that's it. I'm sorry, this should have gone out on a higher note. Like what? Well, you know what? This is my take on Suicide Squad, and I'm like going to fix it. I'm going to replace the Joker with the one character I know would get a gigantic reaction. What is that character? What? Let's go home. Mm -hmm. Who's Bill? <laughs> okay. Any more? Mm -hmm. Together. Huh. I guess that's it. Okay.
And that is the end. This is my first time I done a split up video into two parts. And yeah, this is kind of a special video because I'm watching somebody else's review of a certain movie. I would agree on a lot of these things. Like there's a lot of things here that does not make sense. But overall, I do forgive them because the overall coolness of the film, the overall style, I do kind of like the story and I do kind of like a few changes of the comics. And I do actually like the ending. There's a few stuff that I disagree with, like the darkness of the action sequences. I wouldn't say they're that dark that you can't see. And yeah, they're, but overall, this is really funny. I love how they went all for it. I love how they actually made jokes that I had never noticed. I just overall love the Nostalgia Critic and his own reviews of these films. Thank you guys so much for watching this overall special video. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys next time.